why should I give up? And what am I giving up on? 2023 was the year I decided I would be more authentic and follow my own desires while creating, but I actually ended up giving in to more external pressure. This led me to exploring different areas of art that I later found out I liked or disliked. Let me explain. Last year, I feel like I was still greatly influenced by trends happening here and there on social media, and I had this idea of what an artist has to look forward to, like doing art markets, having exhibitions, collaborating with others, which yes, some artists do these things, but they don't always have to. These were goals that I set for myself last year though. Of course, I felt extremely lucky to have these opportunities to combine my brain power with others, which was super cool. But as fun as that was, I felt a little bit spread thin. <laughs> so during this exploration period, I realized something important. I realized that there is no right way of being an artist. In fact, I experienced how much freedom artists actually have to the point where I didn't know what to do with it. For example, you don't have to create painting tutorials, or you don't have to paint with a certain medium, or you don't have to have a certain level of education just to paint. Simply creating is the key. Dare I say, creating from the heart. Creating what truly makes you happy. And it's up to you if you want to share that or not. This idea is very simple, but I find it very liberating. Creativity is free. Creating art is not always free, but creativity and the ideas that come to you are technically, in a way, free. Of course, everyone has their own journey, so take whatever applies and do whatever feels good to you. Another thing I discovered last year was that I needed a lot of time alone in order to be creative in the way that I want, or else I get burnt out fast. With social media and the ability to make and share art while facing new technology barriers and the looming pressure to show up everywhere, doing everything, all at once, of course you'd be burnt out. I've been burnt out since the womb. Ever since I've been perceived, actually. <laughs> actually, my soul, before I reincarnated, was like, must I go? I don't know why it has an accent. <laughs> it was like, must I go? I'd like to take a nap. <laughs> Boom, I'm here. Okay, all jokes aside, I don't know if reincarnation is real or not. I don't know. I'm just a young little girl at the age of 40. I'm not 40. <laughs> Anyways, I started giving up at the end of 2023, kind of. But this year, I've decided that I am fully giving up on whatever doesn't work for me as an artist. And instead, I'm giving in mm, yeah i know cheesy but i'm giving in what am i giving into i am giving into the call of the abyss of endless ideas and joy that is my brain i want to have fun with art again and so i'm leaning into that joy more this year or i'm trying to and right now there is joy echoing in the depths of my brain of the abyss and the abyss right now is telling me shut up stop talking and go paint a dragon that's what's up mm. your teeth? yeah oh she's uh oh.
So right now I'm waiting for my paper to dry. I saw that technique online where you pre-stretch your watercolor paper so that when you actually start painting it doesn't buckle up as much because it has already absorbed most of the water and expanded on its own. So yeah, I finished doing that and now that I'm actually thinking about it, I'm not even sure what I want to paint. Like I know that I want to paint the year of the dragon since 2024 is the year of the dragon but i haven't really planned out a piece kind of just the general idea of it and this is what i have so far in my little sketchbook i have these thumbnails of the shape that i want the dragon to be in i've decided to go with this where it kind of snakes around the page and it's looking up to see some birds flying in the distance. I'm not sure if you can hear, but the birds are going crazy outside. Since it is the year of the wood dragon, I do want to give it more of that earthy vibe. I think this is the most that I do with planning anyways. I kind of just set a very general outline and then whatever else happens on the page, happens on the page. This is what it looks like. I don't know, I don't think I want to make it scary or fierce. I want it, I want it to look like a dragon that just woke up from a really long nap. And it feels good and refreshed. <laughs> Because honestly, I think that's how I feel. I think this dragon is just going to be another reflection of how I feel going into 2024, which is waking up from a very long nap and realizing that a lot of time has passed. And now it's time to get up and go. To figure out how to follow what inspires me, I'm asking myself this guiding question. Does this bring me joy or peace? Or both, it can be both. It's 2024, which is the year of the wood dragon based on the lunar new year and Chinese astrology. If there's anything I love, it's symbolism why and how we place these meanings on different animals and determine what characteristics to associate with each one i have no idea but i think it's very cool and very interesting so check this brings me joy i think it's hilarious that my original idea was to make a painting plan on a paper this big but the painting plan that i actually liked the most was on teeny tiny pieces like this and i like this one the most i think it's because when i get too deep into the detail on a plan i just end up not liking it because it's not the real thing One thing I love to draw inspiration from is the outdoors. Hiking, fishing, just frolicking outside and observing plants and animals that are around. It makes me feel good. And it is backed by research that time outdoors is really beneficial for your well-being. Specifically, being around trees.
one barrier that I feel impacts my creative choices the most is what will people think? And I feel that this is very prevalent in certain Asian cultures. I do acknowledge that this affects everyone from all cultures or different backgrounds. The notion of being shamed or judged. Naturally, I don't like the idea of people looking at what I'm doing and thinking that it's cringe, but what's so cringe about sharing something that you're truly passionate about? And so, to give myself this sort of exposure therapy, I will allow my ideas to be heard without focusing on the response. So along with this painting, I had a little story in mind. It's not a full book or anything, but to me, this is the narrative of what's happening behind this wood dragon painting. And here it goes. In the depths of the forest, the dawn crept through sleepy branches, stirring leaves, trees, and creatures awake. The wood dragon came slinking towards the stream for a long, fresh drink. They couldn't recall how long they slept in the cold earth, but the feeling of the sun's warmth on their scales was a welcome one. What year are we in? asked the wood dragon, blinking up at the sky. The birds say it is 2024, the frog croaked from their favorite rock. You've been asleep for more years than I can count on my fingers and toes. I've missed you. Wow, 2024, Wood Dragon chimed. Well then, we have lots to do, frog. How wonderful it is to welcome this day with great company. Their smile twinkled at their dearest amphibian perched in the water. What have we got first on our to-do list? Wood Dragon looked around, noticing the fallen logs. Let's begin with gathering mushrooms. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Me reacting to literally anything that I write, being like, oh my god! <laughs> Anyways, thank you for being here. Um, I wasn't very present on YouTube last year. I think I only posted like three videos. <laughs> because life is getting busy but um yeah i want to do this more often and it is a goal for me this year to show up and not being afraid of being perceived when i do show up what i would like to know is what are some ways that you are giving into your creative passions and what are some things that you are allowing yourself to do in order to be creative i'd love to hear about it with that Thank you for being here. I really look forward to creating more art and sharing it with everyone. I will see you soon. Bye.